Welcome to another insightful session of Informed Investor. Space exploration has captivated humanity for centuries, but recently it's not just about scientific discovery. The space sector is booming with businesses and governments around the world reaching for the stars in new and exciting ways. In this video, we will talk about the evolving space sector. We will explore the staggering size of the global space economy and its projected growth trajectory. We will discuss India's position in the race to the cosmos, exploring its space economy's impressive journey and current standing. Furthermore, we'll talk about the Indian Space Research Organization or ISRO, the leading force behind India's space endeavors. We'll also introduce you to some of the key players who are propelling India's space sector forward. Finally, we'll share some key highlights and takeaways, leaving you with a deeper understanding of India's exciting role in the space industry. Let's begin. You're watching Informed Investor, an initiative by Research and Ranking. So what is the space economy? According to OECD, space economy is defined as the full range of activities and the use of resources that create value and benefits human beings in the course of exploring, researching, understanding, managing and utilizing space. The concept of space economy is all about how we leverage space exploration, research and utilization to bring value and benefits to humanity. In simpler terms, it's about making the most out of the space for our advantage. One of the major impacts of the space economy is its role in transforming global telecommunications and internet connectivity. Satellites are key players here, enabling long distance communication, broadcasting and providing internet access even in remote areas. But the reach of space technology goes beyond communication. It touches various sectors like agriculture, telemedicine, resource extraction, manufacturing and even climate change mitigation efforts. In essence, space technology is reshaping how we live our lives. What's particularly exciting is a surge in developments within the space industry. Private companies like Elon Musk led SpaceX, Jeff Bezos led Blue Origin are leading the charge launching rockets and deploying satellite constellations. This is a big deal because it used to be mainly governments doing this stuff. Consequently, the space economy is not just expanding in terms of sheer size, but also its scope with a growing number of individuals and organizations becoming involved as players and stakeholders in this exciting domain. So how big is the space economy and how much is it expected to grow? According to McKinsey and company projections, the global space economy is expected to soar to a staggering $1.8 trillion by 2035. This marks a substantial increase from its estimated value of $630 billion in 2023, growing at a CAGR of 9%. This valuation encompasses both what McKinsey refers to as backbone applications, such as satellites, launchers, and services like broadcast television, or GPS, as well as reach applications. These reach applications entail the utilization of space technology by companies across various industries to generate revenue. For example, companies like Uber leverage the combination of satellite signals and smartphone chips to connect drivers and riders and provide navigation directions in cities worldwide. This demonstrates how space technology isn't just confined to traditional space related activities, but has far reaching implications across diverse sectors of the economy contributing significantly to its overall growth and value. Now let's talk about India's space economy. India's journey in space exploration began with humble steps back in 1963 with the launch of its first sounding rocket. Since then, the Indian space program has undergone a remarkable evolution marked by notable milestones and achievements with the most notable one being India's first satellite, Aryabhata, being launched in 1975. In the last two decades, particularly, India has demonstrated its capacity to push the boundaries of space exploration. In recent times, one of the standout achievements came in 2013 with the successful Mars Orbiter mission, also known as Mangalayan 1. This mission propelled India into the global spotlight as the first Asian nation to reach Mars orbit and the fourth space agency worldwide to accomplish such a feat. It not only showcased India's technological prowess, but also underscored its efficiency in executing interplanetary missions. Further enhancing India's space exploration endeavors are the Chandrayaan missions focused on lunar exploration. Chandrayaan-1, launched in 2008, yielded significant discoveries, including evidence of water molecules on the lunar surface. Building upon this success, Chandrayaan-2 was launched in 2019, aimed to delve deeper into the lunar explorations, specifically targeting the moon's South Pole region. 
this year india space sector etched its name in history once again with the successful landing of chandrayaan 3 on the lunar south pole on august 23rd this landmark achievement solidified india's position as the fourth nation following us russia and china to land on the moon notably india became the first to touch down on the uncharted south pole of the moon marking a significant milestone in humanity's quest for lunar exploration this has been the journey of our space economy moving on to the massive opportunity ahead of us currently india only accounts for 2 to 3% of the global economy and the government expects this number to reach 10% by 2030 and according to an inc42 report the indian space tech market is expected to grow at a massive 26% cgr from 2023 to 2030 when you look at these numbers of operational satellites india has quite a few but compared to other countries it's relatively low they make up less than 1% of the global total with just over 59 satellites now in contrast the us has a whopping 67.1% share which translates to over 4511 satellites china and uk follow with 8.7% and 8.4% respectively let me just be clear despite the current disparity in satellite numbers india space program has demonstrated significant achievements this disparity could also be on the back of the fact that we are a developing economy and our funding for space is relatively smaller compared to the other advanced economies with continued investment and strategic partnerships it has potential to further expand its presence in space exploration and satellite technology coming to the players isro is the primary service provider focused on building rockets and satellites they like the big boss in the space industry they indulge in several activities with those of developing and building satellites for various purposes then offering communication and earth observation services through its satellites additionally it manages its fleet of satellites in orbit and also sets up temporary facilities for missions and is constantly involved in r&d to build new infrastructure to support its space activities on the other hand private companies usually do smaller jobs like making specific parts or critical components and providing manpower they don't make the whole rocket or satellite but they help out with certain tasks several firms like hcl antis corporation and private companies like godrej aerospace anand technologies lnt have helped manufacture rockets satellites and other space components for isro so until now there was limited participation from private industries in india space sector it was restricted mainly to the manufacturing and fabrication of rockets and satellites however with a significant uptick in space missions over the past decade there is a growing imperative for private companies to ascend the value chain and transition into full scale satellite and launch vehicle manufacturers this shift is being driven by several factors firstly the increasing demand for satellite based services such as telecommunications broadcasting and remote sensing requires a broader ecosystem of satellite manufacturing capabilities and isro alone can't cater to the rising demand for space based applications and services within india's as it's growing rapidly additionally the emergence of new technologies and market trends such as small satellite constellations and commercial space tourism presents opportunities for private entities to diversify their offerings and expand their foothold in the space industry in recent years we witnessed a dramatic surge in private sector involvement the boost to the indian private sector came in 2020 when the indian national space promotion and authorization center was established to promote authorize and supervise various space activities of non governmental entities in march 2024 india declared its plans to relax newly introduced foreign direct investment regulations in the space industry permitting 100% foreign investment for component manufacturing in the following months certain amendments were introduced to make the sector more lucrative for potential investors with india working on such policies to deregulate the space industry and promote greater private participation these efforts are expected to create a conducive environment to the development and adoption of space technologies additionally india space sector has seen a surge in entrepreneurial activity with a growing number of startups focusing on various aspects of space technology and exploration reports suggest that there are indeed around 150 startups in india dedicated to the space sector however the indian space tech startups are still at a nascent segment at home and requires a lot of hand holding in terms of growth capital technology support and r&d now let's discuss some space sector stocks it's important to keep in mind that while these companies are involved in the space missions these space related activities might represents only a small fraction of the total revenue first up is mtar technologies mtar technologies is an indian company that specializes in precision engineering manufacturing assembly 
testing and quality control of critical high precision components and sub assemblies the company primarily serves the aerospace defense and nuclear power sectors it counts the likes of isro drdo npcil as its clients in fact mtar holds a special place in india space exploration most recently the company partnered with isro for its globally acclaimed chandrayaan and aditya l1 missions in addition to the much anticipated gaganyaan mission helping the with the launch vehicle and grid fins over the last 5 years space sector has been contributing somewhere around 9 to 24% to its revenues in 2021 mtar went public its shares being oversubscribed 201 times and listing at an 82% premium to its issue price since then the company shares have zoomed 76% over the last 6 months however mtar shares have slid 19% the next company we'll talk about is centum electronics limited This company isn't just another electronics company. They are a key player behind the scenes of India's thriving space program. Founded in 1993, Centum specializes in electronic system design and manufacturing. It offers an entire spectrum of design services and manufacturing of systems, subsystems for mission critical products in defense, space, aerospace, industrial transportation and medical sectors. In respect to the space sector, they develop critical hardware for various space missions and includes parts for launch vehicles satellites and ground equipment in fact about 45% of the revenue is generated from the defense space and aerospace industry another important point to note is centum is a strategic supplier and partner to large global oems including fortune 500 companies and public entities such as indian defense public sector undertakings ordnance factories drdo and isro Moreover, Centum has delivered mission-critical electronics on almost all satellite programs of the ISRO, including the ambitious Chandrayaan and Mangalyaan projects, and also delivered 300 to 500 components for almost every Indian space mission. And now, when we look at how the stock performance is in the last one year, Centum has delivered an impressive 140 percent returns. To sum it, Centum's expertise goes beyond building components. With over two decades of experience, they bring valuable knowledge and a proven track record to the table. This makes them a trusted partner for ISRO, helping them to propel India's space ambition forward. The next company we'll talk about is Data Patterns. This this name might not be a household name, but behind the scenes, this Indian company plays a crucial role in the nation's space ambitions and is one of the fastest growing companies in the defense and aerospace electronic sector in India. Data Patterns aren't launching rockets or building satellites themselves. instead they are a vertically integrated aerospace electronic solutions provider which basically means they design manufacture and test the critical electronic components that go into rockets satellites and ground stations they boast design capabilities across the entire spectrum of strategic aerospace and defense electronic solutions and their product portfolio includes critical components like radars electronic warfare suit brahmos program automatic test equipment which is also known as ate avionics small satellites and so on and so forth interestingly the ministry of defense has been the biggest client in q3 of fiscal year 24 and no doubt it is one of the fast growing companies in the defense and aerospace sector as their order book has grown with a cagr of an impressive 34% over the last 5 years in terms of stock performance over the past one year data patterns has delivered more than 60% returns to conclude data patterns works closely with isro their manufacturing facilities are isro pro and they've developed numerous test systems specifically for isro's launch vehicles so the next time you hear about an isro mission remember the invisible contribution of data patterns they might not be in the spotlight but the space grade expertise is keeping india's cosmic journey on track the next company on the list is astra microwave products incorporated in 1991 astra microwave is one of the few private sector companies in india that design and develop radar ew strategic and space electronic systems and subsystems having 30 years of experience they boast in-house capabilities of design engineering simulation manufacturing functional testing of defense critical microwave and radio frequency based equipment but what is the significance of this relation to space spacecraft rely on robust communication systems accurate radar and advanced technological marvels to function astra microwaves rf and microwave subsystems are the building blocks that make these functionalities possible their contributions are vital for satellites launch vehicles and various other space faring technologies in terms of revenue the space sector amounts to around 4% of the segmental revenue while the majority chunk is derived from the defense sector now when we look at how astra microwave has performed it has witnessed returns of more than 100% in the last one year to conclude 
MPL is a key player behind the scenes ensuring the smooth operation of critical space missions. They take scientific concepts and translate them into tangible components that propel space exploration forward. The last company on the list is Mishra Dhatu Nigam or also known as Midhani which isn't a name that you might hear every day but their contribution are vital to the Indian space ambitions. This public sector undertaking plays a critical role by providing the special metallic muscles that make space missions soar. So Mishra Dhatu Nigam specializes in manufacturing super alloys, titanium and other exotic metal, metals crucial for aerospace applications. These materials can withstand extreme temperatures, resist corrosion and maintain incredible strength perfect for the harsh environment of space. Midani's product portfolio consists of high-performance alloys used in rocket engines which can handle the immense heat generated during launch. Lightweight and robust titanium for airframes and other structural components help rockets shed weight for better fuel efficiency. Specialized metals for space-borne instruments and equipment ensure they function flawlessly in the unforgiving vacuum. The image on the screen shows their contributions of Midani's in the recently successful launch of the prestigious Chandrayaan-3 mission. Now, when we look at the performance of the stock, Midani is another stock that has amassed over 100% returns in the last one year. By providing the foundation, the very building blocks of spacecraft, Midani plays an invincible but an undeniable role in the India space journey. Their dedication to developing and producing these specialized metals is a testament to the country's growing prowess in space exploration. With this, we sum up the list of the players in the ever-evolving space ecosystem. If you want us to do a detailed video on any of these stocks, do leave a comment below. To finally conclude, as India's space economy continues to evolve, fueled by innovation and strategic partnerships, opportunities are abound for investors and stakeholders to be part of this exciting journey into the final frontier. Whether it's launching satellites, developing cutting-edge technologies, or manufacturing critical components, the space sector offers a galaxy of possibilities for those willing to explore its vast potential. Having said that, this is me, Ralison, signing off. Have a great day and stay safe. Did you like watching this video? Then download our app, Informed Investor, to watch more such informative and interesting videos. Investments in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.